if you are content with who you are right now, you are not aware of who you could be if you're willing to strive. This is all the limitation for a human being because for all the other creatures, nature has drawn two lines between which they will have to live and die. For the human being, there is only baseline, there is no top line. Depending upon how much you are willing to strive, that many possibilities are open in one's life. Striving is not just for social well-being, economic well-being and other things in the world. Striving is about touching the peaks of who we are, touching the peaks of what creation is, how the source of creation functions within us, the entire gamut of life-making within ourselves. How much of life becomes available to you or how profound is your experience of life on this planet essentially depends upon how much you're willing to strive. Striving does not just mean hard work, striving means organizing and harnessing the physical prowess, the mental prowess, the emotional strength that we have and above all, the life energies that we have. If we harness these things and strive, there is no limit as to what a human being can be because nature has taken away the top line for us. The state of human beings right now is just that it is like a bird which has lived in a cage for too long, but now the door has been blown away, but still the comfort of the cage seems to be better than the freedom of the skies. This is the unfortunate choice most human beings are making. Spiritual process means just this, that you decide to come out of your cage and willing to be vulnerable in the vast sky. The vastness of the sky may be threatening, make you feel vulner vulnerable, but it's freedom, it's liberation and it is the opening up of every possibility that life can offer.